you can see the ground. John, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. As y'all can see, we got the Stang behind us. And from the little clips that you guys seen at the beginning of this video, the transmission is out of a car. Now, the title is not clickbait. The thumbnail is not clickbait. None of that. It is real. I dropped the transmission out the car and I was greeted by a little surprise. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The surprise is not really a surprise because I was kind of low-key and expecting it. Um, which is, you know, something that you should expect to do with a used manual car whenever you get it is a clutch job on the car. Um, so as you guys know, if you've been in the loop with the videos, um, in the last video, the throwout bearing ended up going out on my car, um, which really sucks, you know what I'm saying, but it is what it is. Now, with that being said, your boy went ahead and bought an upgraded throwout bearing um, from X Gretty. I believe I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Y'all go ahead and fix it in the comments or whatever. Y'all let me know on Instagram. Do what you got to do. Um, but I got it from American Muscle. Um, and I was lit. You know what I'm saying? It came in on Thursday. Today is Saturday. We went ahead and dropped the transmission yesterday, which is Friday. Um, I thought that, you know, dropping the tranny and just throw, putting in throw out bearing and then putting the tranny back in the car and everything would have been straight. Uh, but little did I know, you know what I'm saying? When we dropped the transmission, we could just see off of just looking at the clutches, um, off of just looking at the clutch, even with it being installed on the vehicle still, you could definitely tell that it was burnt. Now with that being said, um, like I said, this is something that you should expect to do on a used manual car when you get it, um, regardless of, of, you know what I'm saying, where you get it from. It's just something that you should expect to do down the line of ownership, um, especially when you get the car at 46,000 miles or 40 plus thousand miles or whatever the case may be. Um, going ahead and replacing the clutch is definitely something you should do. This is actually the stock uh, Ford clutch. So for 46,000 miles, I ain't even gonna lie, that joint lasted a pretty long time. It was pretty fried though, I cannot lie. So I loosened three bolts that was on the um, flywheel, three flywheel bolts, bro. And literally the clutch packs just started to fall out like freaking confetti as if, look, a, the best way that I can put it is whenever you go metal to metal on your brakes and you take your brake pad off, I mean your uh, your rotor off and you see all the little sediments or whatever from the brake pads, the little ashes and whatnot on the floor. That's definitely what it looked like. Um, and I showed you guys little pieces at the end of the video. So make sure you guys are watching this entire video. Um, don't just watch it to like four minutes of it and then stop watching. Nah bro, watch the video all the way through so you guys can see the clutch. Um, because I definitely give you guys an up close uh, view of the clutch with it off of the car. It's insane because I really like was, I literally feel like I jinxed myself because I told my boy Versatile Speed, I said, man, honestly, I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, drop the transmission and take a look at the clutch because every time I would do a pull, you could smell, um, after the pull was done, you could smell the clutch was just burning. You could smell it. Um, and it wasn't me shifting bad or missing gears or any of that bullshit. Like the clutch was already gone. It was gone. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It was on its way out. It's to be expected. You just gotta take it on your chin, man, and charge it to the game, bro, and keep pushing. It's that simple. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and upgrade to the stainless steel clutch line. Um, we're gonna go ahead and keep the eggs gritty uh, throwout bearing, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to the stage four uh x ready uh twin disc clutch now if you guys have any recommendations of clutches that you guys have been using i've also been looking into the mantic clutch 
um, and I've been looking into the um, it's on the, it's it's on my head uh, five minutes later uh, damn uh, I forgot what it's called bro but I'll probably put it on the screen but I've also been looking into those so those are the three clutches that I've been looking into as of right now if you guys have any suggestions let me know down in the comment section down below I definitely want to get a twin disc clutch though because it's just better to do it now while I have the transmission out of the car. Go ahead and take care of everything. I've also been looking at getting the NGW uh, short throw shifter. Um, just knocking out everything that has to do with the transmission as far as upgrades right now while the MT-82 is out of the car because as you guys may or may not know, the MT-82, bro, is trash when it comes to um, high RPM shifts, the clutch line that's in the car, the stock one, it's a plastic clutch line so it really sucks at high RPM shifts which gives you that high RPM uh, lockout whenever you're trying to shift gears at like 6,000 or 5,500 RPMs, it definitely locks you out of third for sure um, just because that clutch line is trash. So I want to go ahead and replace that and replace the uh, clutches, the clutch while I'm, you know what I'm saying, have the transmission out of the car instead of just putting the throwout bearing back on, trying to finagle and finesse and put the clutch, the clutch back in the car and riding the car out like that until the clutch actually uh, legit gives out on me. So with all that being said, man, y'all guys go ahead and enjoy this video. Make sure you're watching the video all the way through and let's cut to yesterday's footage. <laughs> Yes, God don't like ugly. That's what you get. That's what you get. You <laughs> tried to help him up and he ain't even want it. That's what you get. Nah, 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 nah. You only appreciate it because it's on camera. Anyway. <laughs> oh God, yeah, busting your ass. Exactly what's gonna happen. Anyway, as you guys can see, man, we got the stang up in the. Uh, we about to get the stang up in the air. We got the new part right here, the throw out bearing from Fast Tech Performance. Uh, not Fast Tech, I'm tripping. Uh, American Muscle, I think it's the next ready. It was like 177 after uh, shipping. But we're about to go ahead and get the stang up in the air, start taking things apart, and get this transmission on. All right, so I'll quick little update. So we got the starter off, we got the exhaust off. Now we're about to go ahead and start working on getting the drive shaft taken out so that we can drop the transmission um, and then we'll go from there. So right now we're about to get the drive shaft taken out and then move on to getting the bell house bolts taken out. Hopefully she should drop. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, finally got the trans out. Freaking clutch is definitely gonna be next because this joint is burnt up. But let's look at the throw out bearing. The whole reason why we're here, right? <laughs> that ain't supposed to do that. This joint completely just said, all right, I'ma head out. And he gave up. Ford, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking when y'all made these joints, but this is a big hell no. Like this shit should not come off. It's supposed to be one whole unit. And that joint just decided to say ejecto cito, cuz. But this is gonna be a two-part MOOC. As of right now, this is where we're gonna stop at tomorrow. Back, go ahead and drop the new oil bearing in the car, put the trans back in the car, and uh, yeah, man, I will be looking for a new clutch very, very soon. But as of right now, a better look at how glazed my clutch is. I'm gonna take it out to the sunscreen. Your clutch should not look like that. Clutch, this joint is completely. Toast, bruh. Completely toast. I don't want to take it apart because I don't have the alignment tool, but it's completely toast, bruh. That's going to do it for this one. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.